Really appreciate you taking the time, especially on days like today. How is the health of the consumer? What are you seeing? Um, well, uh, greetings from the brand new Secrets Moshe, just uh, north of Playa del Carmen. That's where I'm speaking to you from. Um, part of our uh, all-inclusive uh, portfolio. Um, and the answer to your uh, question about how we see the health of the consumer is very strong, especially on the leisure side. Um, we, we came through the tail end of the first quarter of this year with uh, tremendous levels of actualized business, but also very importantly, future bookings. So as we look into the summer holidays, for example, we're seeing booking levels up between 20 and 40% across our whole chain uh, in the Americas, but for the resorts, uh, up over 60%. So there are a lot of people who uh, we serve, which is which we, we tend to be at the higher end of the uh, of each segment that we're serving, so higher end traveler, um, they are booking ahead and looking to secure dates so that they actually have a place to go for their holidays over the summer. So we're actually quite optimistic about what we're seeing. And then concurrently on the business side, we're seeing group business, corporations and associations come back to, to meetings um, in, a, in a very, very pronounced way. And there we have some visibility as well because we have forward bookings that are very strong for the remainder of the year. As you have such strong bookings, Mark, I'm wondering if you could speak to the labor side of the equation here and what the expectation is to fill spots across the chains here. Are you finding any difficulties when it comes to paying staff, finding staff to fill that demand as you're seeing on the consumer side? Yeah, we had, I would say, acute pressures in the fourth quarter of last year uh, being able to attract employees uh, in many places, but especially in our resorts. And um, that's become easier over the past uh, four months. Um, I wouldn't say it's easy, but we've been able to fill more positions. Uh, wage rates are certainly higher. There's no question about that. And uh, I think that's true. It's pervasive across the market. It's, it's particularly acute in a few different markets that are more leisure focused. But um, we're actually seeing more success in being able to attract mm. and, uh, and hire people. We've changed our own practices. We have, we have significantly mm -hmm. um, speeded up our, our overall process and taken some friction out of the system to be able to engage people yeah. and to move them through the process more quickly. When you think about some of those higher input costs, though, how much of those are you able to pass on to the consumer? You talked about how the, the consumer feels healthy. Are they absorbing higher prices? Yes. Um, so again, we serve a higher end customer. Mm -hmm. We serve the, the sort of the highest end in each segment that we that we uh, operate in, and we have seen uh, rate increases that have been um, able to fully absorb the cost increases that we have seen, both factor costs and food costs, but also labor costs. And um, as a consequence of that, our margins have gone up. So in general, uh, we have seen the ability to absorb um, uh, in higher, higher, higher costs. You know, there's a lot of conversation about the strong dollar. I'm wondering how that's impacting you and impacting your customers as they look to travel around the world. Yeah, I think uh, it'll be interesting to see how the summer unfolds. Uh, I think uh, the EU has been discussing uh, freeing up some requirements in terms of travel back and forth, um, testing requirements, that is. Uh, heading into the U.S. for American travelers who come to Mexico, which is where I am right now, um, there's still a, a requirement for a COVID test to return to the United States. So I see that international travel um, is, is likely going to get freer um, as we see some of these restrictions fall off. Um, now, uh, I would say that bookings that we've seen so far for Americans uh, going to Europe uh, are up, but they're not up significantly. Uh, and so I think there are many factors, by the way, that, that influence that. So I think it's still a little early to say uh, how the higher dollar might actually influence people's decisions mm. to take a holiday in Europe or, or somewhere else. How are you preparing your business and an income statement and a balance sheet for a potential recession? We have a very strong balance sheet. Uh, we've been able to um, raise a lot of capital over the course of, of uh, the pandemic. We also executed the largest acquisition we've ever done last year, a $2.7 billion acquisition of Apple Leisure Group. And we are actually running ahead of our expectations in terms of cash generation, um, 
proceeds from the sale of assets to pay, be able to pay down debt. Um, and in fact, we, we recently announced that we were returning to repurchase shares. Um, so we got a, a very strong balance sheet with significant liquidity. So we feel like we're very well positioned at this point uh, for pretty much anything that, uh, that comes down the pike.